When you ain't got no money, that's the. I don't ever go nowhere with fifty dollars ever. <laughs> Not because I don't want to be seen with him, because I know I can't hang with him. <laughs> and we don't. We I don't have the same type of lifestyle. We don't dress the same and whatnot. <laughs> I'm gonna be the only one that ain't getting shit. Well, I'm gonna be the only person. Yeah, you can't be that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? So I just stay home. <laughs> I just stay home. And what, but people know I know him, and that's all. We, that's all. That's we all you need. need. That's all you need. <laughs> but I don't ever want to be in a situation where we go to dinner and whatnot, and then I'm expecting him to pay for mine, and they wait the to bring me a whole nother bill. Whoa, that's a bad uh, situation. That's dude. a bad situation. Yeah. And then I gotta act like I, I can pay for this this roof crest. <laughs> and but, but go ahead, this ain't about me. <laughs> Bart, this is your boy Five Mike's New York City worldwide. You're watching this is fifty dot com. Ain't no chill. It sounds like he's lying, but he's not. Five. Five mics, what's up, boy? Five. We, <laughs> this is the first time a nigga ever took a selfie <laughs> while we was doing the interview. <laughs> only five mics. Only five mics. So, Mike, bro, like, I like Hold on, we started right now? We've been started. Yo, so I'm up here doing Instagram. I didn't know he started yeah, already. That's what I was saying. You're doing shit niggas coming forward. Yo, do. yo, this nigga. But that's got, what you be doing, Yo, though. that's how you know. That's some, that's that's some real shit. Do. You know what? Hey, hold this. You know what I'm saying? Look, press um send. It's loaded on Instagram. Th that's how I know. Put at Jack Twiller. It's really him. Whoa. This how I know is really <laughs> fucking him. It's always some some different abstract shit going on Yo. that ain't even posed to happen. That's Five crazy. Five Mike's makes his own rules. Ever nah. since I know him, <laughs> I thought it was 15. He said it was 12 years. We know each other. It's 12. 12, 12 years. years. So he, I, I met him at Grand Hustle through uh, Lil Duval and Ti. Sal Duval tip, what's up? And he on the road right now with Lil Duval on the Best Life Tour doing a goddamn thing. Five Mikes is one of the hardest working <laughs> rappers I fucking know. Don't nobody match his hustle. He don't wait for nobody to do that <laughs> for him. I appreciate you saying that. It's true, though. No, I, I, come you. on, now. That's what I know about you. Real one. Real one. Hey, dog, every time I see you, you in some shit. <laughs> you one of them niggas that was all the way in the back, and now you in the front. Yeah, that's a fact. I seen you on, on, on 50 Instagram like a couple Whoa. weeks ago. Whoa. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Whoa. They're talking about Shout you. Shout out to Fifth. You wasn't even there. <laughs> You wasn't even, this is, this is how dope it, this, 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 he don't even talk about me on Instagram. Whoa. Yeah. I don't, um, to be honest, um, <laughs> yo, when stuff like that happens, it's like, it's just like that universe energy type. You just, you don't even know what to say. I just, when it happens to me, I just kind of sit down. I, I always pray when I, whenever there's some shit like what? I always thank God immediately. I don't care where I'm at. Mm. And then I try to just let the moment happen. It's just the universe, not take it in, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's just special when stuff like that happens, nothing you can do. That's why I said you just gotta be ready. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I like it. Yo, so so tell me, man, what, what is your origin? Where do you even start from, bro? Whoa. And get to where I, when I when I met you, how you get there and um, where we are now. Past president. Just just uh being all the way honest, um like twelve. Don't 30, you lie to me. No, I'm Don't not. You fucking lie to I'm me. not gonna lie to you, I'm never gonna lie to people. I'm always keeping a hundred. So, you know, a thousand. Um 12, 13 years ago, you know what I'm saying? I moved to ATL um with no money, with nothing. Um, I even moved to ATL for I moved, I moved to Orlando, Florida for a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? Then I made my way to ATL. You was trying to get a job at Disneyland. Disneyland. Nah, I was. They, they wouldn't let you be Mickey Mouse. You said fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm going to Atlanta. Nah, you know back then I was really, uh, really uh, in the streets. You know what I'm mm. saying? Not, not in the streets. And when I say that, I don't want to. You know, everybody, oh, they stole all the kilos. And I'm just telling you. It was a point in my life where I was really in the streets. I was you know really saying? in the streets too. I was catching the, catching the bus you know what I'm going somewhere. And I was doing everything. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was doing everything, you know what I mean? Not just, you know, selling coke and drugs and all that. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, robbing, stealing. And um, I was just going through a time yeah, period. You were robbing and stealing. I don't know what the difference is. But yeah, robbing that is, shit is crazy. Robbing and stealing is a difference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like finessing is a difference. Tell me give, me, somebody, all, give me all three different definitions. All right. Because niggas don't know. All right, stealing. Usually happen in department stores, uh -huh. you know, I, petty stealing from the gap, you know, shit like that. <laughs> robbing usually involves you and an individual and someone taking your stuff. You got robbed, you know what I'm saying? You got uh -huh. a handgun or whatever. Okay. And finessing is with no contact at all and not no anger, nothing, and I make you give me your shit. Mm. And you don't realize that you got robbed or stolen from until your ass get home. Oh shit, like if I sell you, if I tell you, yo, I got this new laptop right here, this the new, you know what I mean, the new shit, and you open it up, and it's a fucking 
you it's know, a brick. It's a brick in that shit. It's a fucking brick. Hey, I'm out. That's finessing. I just smooth criminal. But you there, know, there's a lot of bitches that finesse me. <laughs> a lot of bitches that told me that we was gonna fuck. Yeah, I, I take them out. We go to Roof Chris. Girls, are, they, girls are pretty good at finessing. They all they've been finessing since kindergarten. Facts. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, speed the story. I'm making those stories short. I moved down to Atlanta. Um, when I moved to Atlanta initially, I didn't know anybody in Atlanta. Just me and my boys from New York. My big homies was out there running around. And this is definitely um, post BMF era. Like some people from BMF is still walking the streets. You know what I'm saying? At that time, you know what I mean? Where? But in Atlanta, it's like 2006, 2007. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, most, I was there. We going back 12, 13 years. Oh, I thought you were talking about in 2019. No, no, no. Shout out to BMF. You know what I mean, shout out <laughs> to me. If anybody from BMF, I know y'all. I know y'all still alive. All right, nigga, nigga try to jump. Nigga, I don't know why I'm getting my ass whooped in the street by a BMF nigga in 2019. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You get your ass whooped by a BMF nigga. In 2019, you probably deserve. Don't be the angry nigga, cause Whoa. they gonna prove they ain't being. Nah, don't yeah. you ever challenge a nigga about being. Yo, yeah. no, real talk. No jokes aside, uh, we all, yo. First of all, y'all gotta understand that um, BMF uh, at that time, just for me being around, being around them, and just in yeah. the streets at that time, another person in the streets. Um, nah, that shit wasn't no joke. You know what I'm saying it was not no joke, and. Now it's like legendary status. Yes, it'd be an old man that might slap the shit out to you about being old man or a young kid. Oh, a young kid. Like right now, it's a part of the culture now. You know what I'm saying? It's graduated. I seen some ten year old BMF niggas like the other day. I know. Yeah, it's my homies. I know. You yeah, know like, I mean? I, I, you don't even know what the fuck this shit is. You know what I mean, I don't want to shout niggas out because you know what I'm saying. And, and it's like you want to shout them out, but you can't. <laughs> Shout out to the whole BMF. <laughs> yeah, it's called it like You know what I'm saying? But, um, Secret society. So, so uh, away from this, you know, fast forward. Anyway, I went to Atlanta, and my homie said, yo, I'm going to um, 2007. I'm going to All-Star Weekend. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to say Freak Nation. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm going to All-Star Weekend in Vegas. Okay. I had no money. He paid for my ticket. He that told me, he said, if you're trying to advance your career, you need to come out here because everybody's out here. You know, you know you're good at mingling five and shit like that. Bring your ass out here. This is Mr. Mingle right here. You know what I'm saying? This is Christian Mingle. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. So now I go, I go to Vegas on a bus for three and a half days. Okay. When I get on the bus, I don't take a shit for three and a half days. I don't have nothing to eat. I maybe get to shit just baking like a cake inside. I don't shit in public. If anybody knows me, I have a phobia of shitting in public. And Inside, I don't, stank like a mother. Go ahead. You know, listen, I'm not trying to be the dude when you walk into the stall and you see my shoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a phobia. You got to do this. You, this is how you shit. No, I don't shit in public. You got to hold that's your crazy. legs up. That's crazy. Right, go ahead. Real nigga, I can't do that. Anyway, so I go to Vegas. I ride a bus three and a half days. When I get to Vegas, I get to old Vegas. Three and a half days? Facts. What the fuck? Three and a half days. Nigga, so you 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 took a get on the bus trip? Yeah, no, just I'm, like the movie. I'm taking a change my life trip. The movie that movie stole it for me. You heard? Million it's, nigga march. So I go for the ride. I get out there, and the first person I meet within minutes, like and like I was in Vegas for 45 minutes. Okay, I see my homie. You gotta understand, I'm bummy. Like I'm a bum. You know what I'm saying, but I got talent. You know what I'm saying, yeah, everybody can feel my talent and energy, but I'm a real bum. Yeah, that's I'm being real. I'm a fucking bum. You got to be the tail. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn bum. So now I go. Oh, we going in further. And <laughs> so my man say to me, um, you know, so when I get in the casino, I get into the Luxor Casino. I don't know if y'all know the Luxor, the pyramid joint. Yeah, I never. they never let me in. Go ahead. So I, I, I get to the Luxor and he says, um, he's, you know, he basically like, how was the trip? I'm like, it was cool, you know what I mean? But he wear everybody in suits and shit. They're gambling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's All-Star Weekend. Yeah. And at the end of the day, my, my presentation ain't the way it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? So he asked me, like, you know, you good? And as I'm talking to him, trying to decide, like, yeah, I'm all right, man. And I'm assessing the area. A lady from, like, two, this is real, Jack, like, real talk. This lady's, like, 200 yards away. Like, how about, how, it's not a football field, but, like, almost. She was far as shit. And something, I'm talking to this nigga over his shoulder, I seen, like, the person coming, and I felt like the energy was there. So I just kept looking, talking to him, looking, and then I seen, like, oh, that's a bad bitch. Okay. She's getting closer. And he's talking like, you good? And I, at this point, it's like Charlie Brown type shit. I don't hear nothing this nigga saying. I'm just looking. And the ladies was looking at me too. And we lock eyes. And I told my man, yo, hold up one second. So he's like, all right. And I told you, I'm bummed out. She's not supposed to talk to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I say that all the time. <laughs> you have no business knowing me, young lady. Go ahead. Yeah, so I walk, I walk over and, um, and I say, hey, how you doing? She said, hey, what's up? I said, yo, I just got here. 
You know what I mean? Just flew in. Um, that I, what you about to do? She said, I'm about to get a drink. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, where you want to go get a drink at? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to drink in my room. So I'm like, are you going to be coming to your room with you? She's like, yeah, sure. Hold on. This so, never happens to me. No, <laughs> this is a real shit. So she said, hold on. I leave, but I go get my bag. I got one of them army bags, like one of them shits, like this big. Uh, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? I still got mine. I put my laundry in it. <laughs> That's crazy. So I got this big ass retarded of bag. Yeah. And I go with her and we go. Hold on, Tyler. You walking with the bag. First of all, to the room. not only I'm walking with the in bag. The facts. And I've been in 30 minutes. Not only am I doing that, I just left all my rich homies that get money and all that. And they're like, where you going? I'm like, I'm going with Shorty. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so everybody's like, whoa. I go upstairs, I fuck her. You know what I mean? And when I fuck the girl. This never happens to me. You know, listen, she's an older lady too. So I, I don't know that she's a um, lawyer and all this stuff. She tells me, you know, as, as we chilling, like, oh, I'm a lawyer. I live in Atlanta, da da da. So this is the first time in life that I kind of felt like a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? I got the prostitute, but, but at this time in my life, I was accepted to it, like, it's cool with me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But really and truly, that was a prostitute move. Yeah. She, 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 she has sex with me. What's the difference between being a prostitute uh, and a gigolo? Jig, um, a prostitute, I don't Poor know. Man. A gigolo, I don't like how that sounds. Yeah. I don't like how prostitutes sound. It's so gay sound. It's so I don't like, yeah, I don't like yeah, how prostitutes sound, but gigolo, nah. Yeah. That's not I'm a gigolo, <laughs> making out of dough. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not, you know what I mean? So, um, make a long story short, I, I didn't know I was a prostitute until I went to say bye to her. You know what I'm saying? I knocked on the door, she was in the shower. I said, hey, you know, when, when you have sex with some mysterious woman who older than you in Vegas. Mysterious. No, I don't know, you know what I mean? And, and, and go like that, you at least think it's gonna be like, all right, you know, nice meeting you and all that. No, I knocked on the door. She said, oh, um, it's okay, just let yourself out. So this, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, this bitch don't even say bye to me. That's crazy. Oh my. You know what I'm saying? Yo, she dogged you. No, she, she helped me. <laughs> you know what I mean? She, she actually changed. You have to explain that to me. What because you, you gotta stay. First of all, I just got off the bus. Okay. I don't have any money. Okay. I'm chasing my dreams. Okay. But did you spend the night or would you, sp you spend a couple this, hours? This is, I probably was in there about an hour and 20 minutes. So she just, but, but listen, you know what she did? What, what, tell me what she did. She brought my confidence up. I just had sex with a bad lawyer, bitch. I don't got no bread. I'm looking out the window of the fucking, I'm looking at the, the MGM like, what the fuck? With a bum on? dick. <laughs> you, had, you gave her some I just rode the bus for three and a half days. And, and you have shit packed in you. <laughs> <laughs> you know you a legend. No, look, this the story just started. The story just started. What yo, the yo, so look, so now I go, I, I go, um, I call, I take the phone, right? This is before I leave, I take the phone and I call my man. I say, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the hotel. They're like, yo, you with the bitch? I'm like, yeah, I just fucked her. You know what I'm saying? They're like, get the fuck out. I'm like, yo. You sound like a goddamn lie. I'm like, nigga, I just fucked the bitch. <laughs> what room are y'all niggas in? Da, da, da. He say, yo, you in the hotel room? Call us from the hotel. We in room such. I'm like, all right. So I take the hotel phone. Call these niggas. They all start laughing. Oh, like, nah, he in somebody room. You know what I'm saying? So I, I tell them, yo, I'm about to come downstairs right now. Y'all niggas hate it. I get off the phone. This is a true story. And mad people in the industry know the story. This is real. Um, I get off the phone, I go downstairs, and, and I'm on the way to the to his room, you know what I'm saying? I forgot the, you know how this is, I forgot to press the floor, it goes all the way to the lobby. When it goes down to the lobby, the door opens up and it's fucking ice tea just walks in the elevator. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know this shit, all this shit sound like a guy. Yo, shout out to Ice T, man. Live. You know what I mean? Shout hey, out to Ice T. That's my man. Hey, you, man, you gotta, is it corroborate? Corroborate, uh, uh, it corroborates the right word. Yeah, because yeah, it sounds like some illegal shit. Like, you tell it on the nigga, right? <laughs> did, 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 did this shit happen? I see. I see. Did, did, did this shit happen? That's what I'm, I was trying to sound like. Oh, we got, hold on. I see the OG. We already know that. OG, if you don't remember when this happened, it's okay. We got proof. Because, let me tell the story. Because I have proof of this. And Ice T made me have proof. He did this. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a fact. Um, so now, Ice T comes in the elevator, and you gotta think. It's like I'm like, I'm chasing my hip hop dreams, and Ice T walks in, and this nigga got a coffee in his hand and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he walk in. Ice T drinking Starbucks. It, well, I, if, if Starbucks was out there, was Starbucks out there? 2007. Yeah. It's been around that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And he was in the casino. He probably had a Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he walks in the elevator. When he walks in. He say, "What's up, young blood?" I look, I said, oh, what's up, Ice? I wait like two seconds, the elevator even closes. I said, yo, um, 
My name Five Mike's. Man. You had to make sure the child was closed in. Fact. One way in, Fact. one way out, Ice T. Whatever floor you Not going only to, that, you could... I didn't press my floor. I didn't press nothing. So that, he, that he said, What's up, young? You going to his floor. No, listen. Floor he he invited me to his floor. <laughs> listen. Your floor, nigga. So he says, he, he says to me, um, Yo, what's up, what's up, young blood? I'm like, like, yo, listen, Ice Man, I'm an artist. My name is Five Mikes. My first time in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? I got some fire. Like, my music crazy. I'm just trying to connect and shit. That nigga looked at me and said, you want to have a drink, man? Man, I don't like where this is going now. Listen. Oh, wait, don't you tell me that you Ice, you went to a room with Ice-T. Yeah. No, 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 never mind. I'm not even going to finish this joke. No, no, don't finish the joke. This, <laughs> this is real shit. So he asked me if I want a drink. So I say, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. So, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, but we're coming to suites. So I go in the nigga's suite. Coco's in there and some other dude. You know what I'm saying? Coco and the dude's talking. Ice-T goes to the bar that be in the hotel room and shit. Go to the bar. If Ice-T were my man, I would have finished that joke. Yo, listen. <laughs> Ice-T go to the bar. He um, pours another drink and shit. We get to take a little shots. And they pulled out, I don't know, at this time, I don't know if it was a laptop or a computer. But I know he just started typing. A laptop or a computer. I don't know. At this the time. nigga had a whole computer in his bag. It might have been like, it's laptop, right? It's probably a laptop. Out of IBM. Yeah, IBM. I don't know, but I don't want to forget the story. I don't want IBM. people to think that I'm lying. You know, this is real <laughs> shit. I see he gets on the, on the laptop or whatever and starts typing while, while I'm talking to him. He's like this. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's what's up, Father Mike. Yeah, you gotta keep going, man. Hold on. So t- Ice T types 100 words a minute. Go, go ahead. <laughs> he, drinks, he drinks Starbucks and he invites strange niggas to the room. Yeah, go ahead. yeah listen. So he's typing. <laughs> and Ice T says, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got MySpace? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, cool. And he sent me a message on MySpace. That's why I told you there's proof of this. This is a crazy This ain't no fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? So he, he MySpace is me something. I, don't I don't know. Shit. At this moment, I don't know what. I didn't, I didn't know he did that until about a year later. When I'm looking on my space, like, oh shit, this nigga Ice wrote me a letter. And he wrote me a letter like, yo, you're going to make it, da da keep working, my nigga, da 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 One of them type of shit on my space. So now, I give Ice-T a pound, like, yo, thank you, man. This is not, there's no Instagram. There's no, if Instagram was out, I'd be the Instagram king at this time. It's, there's no Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So there's no proof of it. And at this time, guess what? Motherfuckers don't take pictures. You know what I mean? I'm from a whole different era. Like, I'm like, that's why I'm like old school, new school. Like, I'm from an era where you pull out a camera, everybody in the room is uncomfortable. And when I ask you, what the fuck are you doing? You trying to record? Like, you have this, like, I'm from that era. You know what I'm in saying? In that order. In that order. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, it even took people a long time to get it. You know, I still, I'm, you know, ready, but you still got to be ready for that camera in your face, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. back then, it wasn't like, yo, Ice, let's get this flick so the world can see what just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nigga. That's why, that's why he fucking wrote me something on MySpace, you know, for that purpose. That's why I feel, you know what I'm saying? So that happens, and um, I leave out the whole time, and I'm already like, oh, shit. I'm motivated. I just got pussy. I see one of the most gangster rappers, the illest niggas ever. All right, cool. I get back in the elevator, and I'm psyched now. Like, whoa. This time, guess what? I'm so psyched, I didn't press that floor again. I didn't even say like, damn, she's going back down. She went back downstairs. Yo, so my, yo, you know niggas from the hood. It's from my mom's grave, like, my mom's grave. That door opened up again. This time, some tall ass nigga. And you know it's All-Star Weekend. So it's anybody's everywhere. Anything can happen. This fucking tall ass nigga is so tall, he came in the elevator like this, like ducking down. And I looked and said, I'm like, who the fuck? And this nigga had rings on every finger. On every fucking finger. I don't know, there's MVPs, championship rings. Successful. You know what I'm saying? He got all these rings. And um, I used to play ball and all that. So when I'm looking at this I thing, I'm like, that part. Go ahead. I'm a New York City legend, nigga. And yo, matter of fact, when this video. Ask Kiwi Kirkland. Yo, when, it, when this video come out, <laughs> if I'm front, y'all put in the comments. You know what I'm saying? If you know me for playing ball in New York, you know what I mean? Let Jack know what it is. Brooklyn, what's up? Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm old school basketball in New York. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout out to Abraham Lincoln High School. You know what I'm saying? But um, so I look and I say, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you play basketball? Yo, that nigga down there backhand slapped me, nigga. You heard? And this nigga hands like this. Like, he did it was like, Doosh. you know what I'm saying? So he said, do I play basketball? He was like, and pulled his hand. And I was like looking like championship, championship. He's like, you don't know who you are? I said, nah, man. I said, yo, I never, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who you are. But I know you somebody. He said, I'm Elgin Builder. Now, young kids, OGs, probably like, what? This nigga said, Elgin Builder. Like, I thought this nigga, I don't, I'm like, hold up. You the nigga that got like 100 rebounds and <laughs> crazy shit. Like, I'm like, I thought niggas that gave him that out. Like, he's dead. So, he, so for me as a sports player, I'm like, Elgin Builder. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, again, it's not picture time. 
I, I give him a pound, say, you know what I mean, nice to meet you. I finally get off on the floor of my friends. I'm just showing you the energy that's around. Like the real legends you never even see is fucking popping up. So he say what's up to me, it's cool, I get off. But fast forward the story, I get to the hotel room. There's people from California, girls, and people from Brooklyn, my, my mans. They with the girls, everybody chilling. And one of my mans is kind of down to me. Like I said, I ain't gonna say his name either. Down but to Down to me, like. Tell him what that means, that's old school. Yo, five, you didn't fuck no bitch. In the you fucking. ain't never met no goddamn Come on, son. Again. You fronted, nigga. You ain't you wasn't with Ice T. Like he he's doing he's that guy. Oh, okay. Everybody else is believing in the dream. He's the nigga put, putting out the fucking it's bubble, all, you know what I'm saying? All, all three. And um so this make a long story short, it was time to go. I, I, this story's so long about I, I really want them to briefly see what happens so you can understand the grind and the maybe, maybe to motivate bum, bum, bum. May, motivate someone yeah, else. Energy. You know what I'm so um the girl says, uh, hey, um so everybody say, yo, we going to shopping. I'm ready. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to go shopping. And, and everybody walk out the room. And, and you know, the dude that's joking on me, he like, yeah, nigga, we be back. Broke ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he leave out. The downing. The downing. The downing, downing nigga. Okay. So the Daddy girl down. says, a girl comes back in the room and says, five, you're not going to go with us? I look at her, I'm like, yo, I'm fucking broke, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and I'm also about to tell her, like, I just got some pussy already. Bro, you know and, and you kept it 100 before niggas was keeping it. Yeah, 100. yeah, facts. And, and, and I'm telling her, like, yo, I already met Ice T. I got some pussy. I'm not chasing nigga to the mall. It's gonna take down my value right now. I feel good about my shit on this trip right now. That girl looked at it and shout out to her. I forgot her name too. I just spoke to her from 10 years. It'll be the first time I'm speaking. I had to tell her thank you because she changed my life with this energy she brought to me. And she said to me, she said, uh, hold on, nigga. You trying to make it, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, we about to run around. You gonna sit right here and not like chase your dreams? Like you bugging. I looked at that bitch and was like, for real? You know what I'm saying? And I got up and I said, fuck it, I'm going. Now this is where my life starts to change. This is the real shit. So I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm going with y'all, man. Fuck, I'm broke as shit. I ain't got no haircut. I got a fucking hoodie on in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking out. Yo, the door opens downstairs in the lobby. There's like 150 people there. Mm -hmm. For real, Jack. Like, this boom mic's up. It's crazy. Like, you open the door, it's like, what the fuck is the TV show right here or something? But we don't know what's going on, so we just start walking with the crowd. There's a fucking crowd. And we start walking. All I know is some white dudes walking with me, and he keep like glancing at me on the side. So I kind of look at him like, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? And he's like, hey, what's up? So I'm like, this dude's mad weird. Tap my man like a dude bugging out. Man. Like, we have to knock him out or something. Okay? And all of a sudden, he says to me, because he can feel my energy, he says, you don't know, you don't know who I am? I was like, no. I don't know who you are. Do niggas really be asking that shit? No, because, but you gotta understand, we in the middle of 150 people walking and they're all following him. I just don't notice oh, okay. that everyone's following him. You, but you since, but since they follow him, you know it's the right thing to do. Right, we, we just off, we off the elevator. It's obviously got to be something good. And, and, and this is like off the elevator, like a 10 second span. You gotta think it's a big crowd like that, you just walking. We don't know what's going on, but we kinda like trying to figure it out. And, and he's looking at me like- Black Forest Gump. <laughs> facts. Yo, that's a good one though. Facts. So, so he says, you don't know who I am? I'm like, nah. And as he's saying that, no, he said, I'm Chris Angel. So he said, I'm Chris Angel. So I don't know nothing about Chris Angel, nothing. So I say, this nigga, we're hanging out with Chris fucking Angel. Yo, look what happened. The, the, the magician <laughs> nigga. Yo, look, so he says, you know, I'm Chris Angel. So I, I so I say to him, I say, was you ready for that, Jerry? Yo, so, so, so I say to him, I say, yo, <laughs> I, I, Chris Angel. I don't know who the fuck Chris Angel is. So as we saying that, a fucking, yo dog, at this time, if you didn't know, Chris Angel owns the damn Luxor at this time. Like this nigga, he got, that's his shit at the moment. So we walk in and I see like a, I don't know how it gotta be like a, maybe like a, what, a hundred foot statue or something, 50 foot statue of him going like this. Like we see that the statue, it's like the Statue of Liberty in this motherfucker. He like this and it says Monfrey. So I'm looking, I'm like, Mon I see the statue. He looks at me like, shit's crazy, right? I look like, now I noticed, now, now it clicks to me, Monfreak shirts. I'm like, hold up, cameras. I said, Yo, what, what you do, man? He's down. I'm a magician. So you're a magician? That's crazy. He's like, I, he's like, where you from? I'm from Brooklyn. He's like, I'm from Brooklyn. That's why I told him, fuck out. Of here. Man, hold on now. Hold on, now I don't Angel. believe that shit. Chris Angel say from Seventh Avenue in Brooklyn. I mean, I, I asked him what block, and I told him I said I used to go to the Brooklyn. This, if you if you from Brooklyn, you know about that. I used to go to Brooklyn Tabernacle Church. You know what I'm saying on Seventh Avenue. Chris and, Angel know about the church. Yeah, he was like, oh, it's down the block from my house. <laughs> So when he does this, first of all, my mans is bugging out. They like, why five talking to this dude? Like, how he even get in the mix with him? 
So Chris Angel then says to me, what are you doing down here? I said, I'm just chasing my dreams, man. I'm rapping, man. Chasing my dreams. And, and, and this, we have proof, the video's on my Instagram. So they can go watch this. A clip of, of the episode that I'm on when he does this shit. Not this part, but you can see me actually with him at that time. Only five miles. When I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So Chris Angel says to me, you want to um, get on my show? I said, nah, you got to be joking, man. What you mean get on your show? He said, I'm shooting a TV show right now. When we, he says, yo, when we walk through these doors, everyone's a little crazy. And uh, we're shooting a TV show. I, 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 I want to put you on my show. So I said, what I got to do? He's like, oh, hold on. He's like, yo, give him the paper to sign. And Chris Angel's like, getting ready, getting ready to walk through the door. So my mans, that you got to think all the people that was with me, they, they, they kind of faded away now because now they're blocking people up. Excuse me, are you with Chris? So they're like, yo, five, what you, what you doing? I'm like, yo, I'm telling them, yo, go around the front. So they're like, go around the front. They got y'all tickets and all that. We get me to go through this big ass exit doing figures and do this magic show with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I sign the paper and I go out there. Now I'm out there, it's everybody watching us outside the gate and I'm sitting there like this, you know what I mean? And um, you can see from the footage, he asked me like, well, he asked me to, um, first of all, I seen tricks being done, but I'm from the hood. You talking about Pippin? No, I'm talking about like uh, magic tricks. Oh, magic tricks. So okay. I'm seeing him do tricks and stuff, but I'm doing the hood shit like, that shit ain't real. You know it's magic. I'm talking to the girl like, you know this magic shit fake. You, know mm. you over here hating on the nigga, ain't it? Like, at, at that moment, I guess I was. You, know you, you, no, you definitely was hating on Chris Angel. nigga, and put you on the Yo, yeah, go ahead. So I tell, but look, look, what, look what my comments got me. The producer of the show overhears me saying these things. Over here, you hate. And says, you know what? Hold up, Chris, let's stop for a second. So they stop, everybody's like, what's going on? They get in the huddle. They in the huddle, you just see niggas' head coming up like him. Go back down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody huddling and shit. Next thing you know, Chris Angel walks over. Five mics, five. What are you hating? No, no. Oh, <laughs> that nigga said, um, I would like to do some tricks on you. So now I'm like, nah, I'm like, whoa. And he's not talking about pimping. <laughs> so, you know, Chris okay. Angel, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want no tricks on me. He's like, no, 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 no. Let's, let's do, do, do some magic on you. So now I'm like, damn, I'm about to find out this shit for real, for real. And Chris Angel does some tricks. He, he, he makes some shit disappear out of my pockets. All that shit. And, 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 could you corroborate that? I mean, did it happen? Yes, it was real. It, it was in your pocket and the nigga went in your pocket? No, the nigga didn't do shit. He said, you know, he made- You had some shit in your pocket. He made it disappear, dog. And it was some shit in your pocket. It was in your pocket. Yeah, I put it in my pocket. What you had? Here. You had a Chico stick and you, you, had, a, you had a bus <laughs> ticket. Uh, yeah, bus ticket. I definitely had a piece of bus ticket in my pocket. And a, and a ring pop. You know what I'm saying? But he, he made it disappear. He um, did some other tricks that was fantastic. And from right there, my um, life changed because... Uh, Your life changed a lot that day. Y'all know that shit. Uh, Your life changed like seven times. It was already. crazy. So yeah. now you guys say it's the first, it's the first time I'm on, I'm on TV now. I meet Chris <laughs> Angel. I got pussy. I met Ice-T. And now... I'm getting ready, ready for my afternoon. And Ice-T also said something on his MySpace. Don't and Ice-T sent me a personal message on MySpace. I then... And then another bitch told him to follow his dream. Facts. Facts. And we just re just, we just reunited. <laughs> so, um, the story's always on fast forward. Um, it goes to nightfall. The guys say, hey, let's get ready for the party tonight. So, I don't know about parties tonight. And I'm that, very... That means cocaine, right? No, oh, okay. we, we, we wasn't still okay. But I'm, I'm satisfied because I already was on TV. I came to Vegas to do something, and I'm like, damn, I, this is some, I, I done did shit that I'm happy with. I'm good, I'm gonna fuck about Vegas no more, I'm good. These niggas start putting on suits and shit, and I'm like, I go to a party like, yeah, and the nigga that was hating said, don't tell five. Cause if you find out who we going to the party with, you know this nigga gonna try to come. Don't tell 50. You know what I'm saying? No, five Oh, months. you, that's right, you five months. Yeah, I'm sorry. Five, and um, that energy girl, you know what I'm saying? She strikes again. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sitting there, my man, Lee, he he, he uh, manipulated me, left me an ounce of weed, like, you smoke this and chill, we'll be back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there like, thanks. And I'm getting ready, you know what I'm saying, to start smoking and getting ready to fall back. And she uh, walks in again. Five. Come on now, nigga. You see what happened earlier? I know you're not about to fall back again. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, you really working. Like, I'm fucking, I'm getting up, you know what I'm saying? So I get up, I go. Um, when I go, my man tries to lose me. Like that ass, like when we're on the way there, we take a cab there, but when we get to the casino, oh, I ain't tell y'all this. At this time, I'm on the run and I don't have an ID. Out of everything I just told you, I'm on the run for selling cocaine and I don't have an ID. You see how the rest of your day finna go, right? <laughs> Yo, all that shit I just told you, I'm in Vegas with no ID on the run too, by the way. Doing all this shit. So, um, Only five months. word. 
Yeah, I'm not on the run no more. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, everything's good with that. The statue of limitation is over. Yeah, no, nah, they forgot we, about him. It's out the system. We took care of that. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um, I, we did. We had to. He, he blamed it on somebody else. <laughs> Nah, he nigga. Take the phone. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do none of that, y'all. You, know? you do, you do, the, do the put the work in. You get, you get time. You gotta do it. No, not me. You know I'm, I'm snitching all day. What? All. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, snitch. I'm, I'm definitely a snitch, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you that right now. Just don't do shit with me. I'm, I'm putting it out there. Yeah. I just need you to understand that about me. Yeah, I'm not a snitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's just me. I'm snitching. That's just Jack. Yeah. It's alright. Some people snitch. It's cool. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, all you. Yeah, no, snitches get bitches. What? Yo. No, if you ain't in jail, you can still be fucking bitches. All right, if you're in all right. jail, <laughs> yeah, he's crazy, son. You can't do none of that Yo. shit from jail. So, um, make a long story short, they try to lose me in the, lose me in the course of getting to the, um, we're going to the Wynn Hotel. Mm-hmm. We get to the Wynn Hotel, shout out to Scotty Pippen, um, shout out to Dennis Rodman. Um, they were in the lobby when we walked in. It's my first time meeting them. Um, I meet Dennis Rodman, Scotty Pippen and shit. And then um, I, in that time period, my homeboy kind of gets away from me in Jets. And he goes into this, um, like in, in Vegas in the casino, they be having like little circles with little, like, like inside the casino, it'd be like a circle and they have a bar in it and a couple slots and shit like that for people to get drinks while they walking around. So they inside that circle, I don't have an ID, I can't go in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of standing there and that girl that's feeding me the good energy, she's sneaking me drinks. So she, she's going like this, like she's getting a drink from the hater nigga. And I'm walking on me like, five, here. And I drink, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, you should have married her, bro. <laughs> So I tell her, I say, yo, give me another one. Shit, I got you. He seen her. He, yo, he was looking around like, where'd she go? And Boy, see, my bitch. and see her. Yeah, ain't nothing worse than give me your bitch. <laughs> and then see if she over there talking to somebody. And to a bum, hey, to hey, a bum at the top. Nigga, that shit pisses me <laughs> off. Did, what, what's that movie where that bitch kept on going back to that bum nigga casino? Whoa, casino. Yeah, fact. you had some. You had ginger. Fact. This nigga was with ginger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, she, so, um, he catches her. He said, you know, I can't hear him in the casino. I just see that nigga say, what the fuck is he doing? And they walk off. But I, I can't. I, Did he I, smack the two? Nah, that's the walk off. Oh, okay, that's the walk off. They got out. They got to walk off. I'm out of here. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So they. Street shit. Yeah. Walk so, <laughs> so they get up out of here. You know the police know about it, what it is now, right? I don't. They know about it now. Shout out to the police in New York right. City. I don't have no problems. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm in the streets because I'm with the people. I just want to know. I'm not in the streets. I want to know if, 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 if anything. And like, if y'all, y'all see us together right now, just know I'm not with him. Or I'm doing an interview for him, he my home, but. Yes, okay, it's all right, cool. five mics, listen, I'm a brand ambassador. Yeah. I got brands out here, I got stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? That's, this is my point. I got endorsements, you know what I mean? I'm clean as a bean. Oh, okay. You know cool. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, yeah. I have history. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha, um, So we go. Just in case you ain't know, once again, I'm not with him for you. <laughs> so we go, <laughs> so we go, um, they try to leave me. I can't cut through the little alcohol, like the little liquor place, so I go around. And when I go around, by that time they got to the elevator, all I could see and went to the penthouse. You know what I'm saying? In that hotel, it's a penthouse, like on the thing. I see go up there, I said, damn. I press, I'm hoping that's not one of them shits with the key thing and all that, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't. So I get on the elevator, I press the top shit, I go up there, it's a dude out there. Like, and the dude, um, you know, I get off the elevator, I say, yo, you know what I mean? Some people just went to this party, I was with them, and he's like, I don't care who you with, are you on the list? Like, Yo, my man, some niggas and three girls, they just went up here, it's my people, I'm here with them. The fan, what's your name? I was like, Five Mikes. He's like, no, listen, my nigga, you can't come in. So right then and there, I told him, I said, yo, bro, I'm out here for New York, I'm with these people, I'm not leaving this area because you said I can't come here. I'm supposed to be in the party. So I'm just sit right here in this hallway, my nigga, till they come out or something, nigga. So he looked at me like, all right. And he went inside, and I sat on the horse for like 45 minutes an hour. Nigga, I thought I was gonna go a whole other yo, way. But well, this is how you know he ain't lying. Yo, he let somebody <laughs> else, he let somebody else come in there, man. I, I'm on the floor like this. This nigga on the floor. Facts, oh. like right by the room, like this, like that in type of shit. In the hallway, on, in the hotel. Home. So, he let somebody else walk in that Legal. fucking room. <laughs> he let somebody else walk in With that room. With Yo, listen. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He let somebody else in. I got tight. I said, "Yo, come on, my nigga. You should come on, man. This ain't no dick riders. I'm trying my family. I ain't be in that party, man. Everybody know a nigga like that. That nigga said, "Yo, get up, man. I get up. He said, "Go ahead and go in there, man." I said, "Thank you, nigga. Fuck." Hey, so shout I, out to this nigga finally. Yeah, that security uh, guard. Thank you, man. Letting up. So I go up in there and I see a bucket of Heineken's, probably with like. Uh, like 200 Heineken's in it. It's a huge bucket. It says Heineken, da da da. And I look around the hotel. I say, damn, this is the biggest hotel room I've ever fucking been in. You know what I would have did if I'd have seen it? 
Oh, would have got in the bucket and been drinking. <laughs> no, I took. I, I, was in that I took a Heineken, mm -hmm. but I ain't gonna lie, my attire was terrible, Jack. Like my attire. Oh, you think we didn't pick that up from the beginning of this story? So, so when I, so I'm just reminding the folks. So when I'm when I'm in here, you know, my attire is terrible. Everybody's in suits. Girls are in blouses with nothing under it. It's like some real crazy, elegant, sexy ass. I ain't seen shit this with a blouse on in a minute. You know what I'm saying? And and they're doing all this. Everybody in the party is looking like this. Uh, Who the fuck is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Who's this dude? And um, that right there puts me in a state of mind where I'm like, damn, I need to um, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Not leave the party, but I need to like get out the line, like walking through the middle, and, like, you know what I mean? Everybody looking at me. Let me just go in the nearest place to be in cool. And I see the room, and the room was huge, so I didn't know it was a bedroom. I woke up in the room, I seen little slippers and shit, but I woke up in the room, and there's mad bitches in there. Six, seven girls. They in there chilling, you know what I'm saying? And I, walk, like and I walk in there and I say, whoa, let me get out get out the limelight of this situation. So I go in the corner, but you gotta remember, we're, we're in the Wynn Hotel penthouse suite. The fucking window, this all, it's the whole thing's windows. The whole thing. So you gotta understand when you, um, it's nighttime, it's a party, and I stand over there by the window, it's making like a silhouette of me. Like everyone in the party, so now, like you gotta understand, I'm in the corner like this trying to, and I'm just looking out the window, like I'm not gonna look around the party, I'm just gonna. Yeah, cause people are gonna notice I don't belong here. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> but the whole party's like, yeah, everybody's just whispering. It's like some Batman, like a Batman on the yeah. chimney type yeah. shit, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, So, all of a sudden, yo, real talk, all of a sudden, I hear somebody say, hey, man, how y'all doing, man? What's going on, man? So, I said, what the fuck is that? I look, I said, oh, shit. That's the, that's T.I. You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of party am I in that T.I.'s in? You know what I'm saying? So, immediately, when T.I. walks in, he's saying, what's up to everybody? Hey, that's how that nigga talk to do his voice again! <laughs> <laughs> I only can do what I'm naturally trying to uh, mimic. That, that, uh, like I'm not, I haven't got it. Come on, just, hold on, hold on, come on, just put me. I'm gonna say it again. Okay, okay go ahead. But in the course of me, I don't want to um, right, try to like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, so for real. So he says, he's like, hey man, so um, what's going on, man? You know, man. All right, how you doing? Okay. So he's looking around the room, and I immediately say, that's Ti. I'm like, hold up, five mics. I've been nice guns in the cut. Pull up. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna say that rhyme right there. Ooh, I'm in the yo, yo I'm in the window like. Oh, man. And he's coming around with, with his eyeballs, like, what's up, all right? And he looks in the corner, and the girl's like, and he's like, who the fuck is that? They're like, they don't know. So T.I. says, hmm, and spin out the room. So I turn around, I'm like, where the fuck T.I. go? I'm like, he left? I'm like, fuck, T.I., I'm lame, Fob. You should have said what's up to him and spit some bars, nigga. And once again, he's talking about Now you're never going to see T.I. again, you yeah. dumbass nigga. You came on, you got the T.I. You stupid, man. So now I'm like this. Next thing I know, Shout out to C Rod. C Rod. C Rod, what's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? C Rod gets wind of what's going on. That some dude is in Tip's room. We don't know who he is. C Rod grabs the wall and goes like this. And when I look, I see some nigga looking at me. I go, What's up, bro? He looked like, Ain't know what's up, nigga. And he moving like, Yep, that's yeah, some nigga definitely in there. That's definitely C Rod. So they, they all getting done at this time. They, they, you know what I mean? The whole room like, What's going on? He's like, Nah, shit about some fuck niggas trying to get up. There's some shit about to go down. You know what I'm saying? So this is shit getting real. And my friend. This is the best story ever. Yo, know, the dude that was hating, you know what I'm saying? He is in a party with the bitches and he's like, what's going on? They're like, nah, some dude with a hoodie, ice grilling, in tip room. This was back when niggas used to say ice grilling. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is bugging out. That's how long we're going to Ice grilling. <laughs> you know, so, so niggas say, what? Like, yeah, some nigga. And he said, how he look? They're like, bald head, <laughs> tattoo. Like, that nigga said, hold on, man. I think I know that is. And he comes in the room. And when he, you gotta think, when he walks in the room and shit, he like, hold on, let me see. And he's like, hold on, let me give me a second. And he walks up to me. So the girls, everybody in the room is looking like, oh shit, because they figuring out like this dude ain't supposed to be here now. The world that was smiling at me, like, hey, that shit is dead now. They're all like, you ain't supposed to be here. This nigga walks in and I had the hood on. At this time, I didn't have a haircut. Um, my hairline was receding, you know what I'm saying? And it's like in 07, your hairline was receding. I always had a bald head for like a long time. I went from flat top to bald head, like straight bald head. Onyx came out certain shit, and I just had a bald head ever since. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Onyx, you know what I'm saying? Um, whoever else had a bald head in the 90s influence, Michael Jordan, everybody had a fucking bald head. <laughs> so, so, make a little story short. Um, he walks up to me, and I got my hoodie on. And at this time, I thought if I rock my hoodie, like right here, you can't see with the rest of my hairline and shit. So if I rock my hoodie right here, it look like I have a bald head. This is got a rocket rack. 
You know what I'm saying? Cause I can't, tape on cause it. I can't get a haircut. So I'm rocking this hoodie halfway like this, and he walks up to me like literally like this, like, like literally like this, like, you know what I'm saying? And he, he he was, on wow. the side. His face is on your face. On the side though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's something separate. Wow. So I'm, 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 I'm looking. At first I said what's up though. He's like, ain't no what's up, nigga. So and he's like talking for something. I'm like, what's you know? I mean, what's wrong with you? He said, nah, nigga. Take that hoodie off. So, so, so I said to him like, why? He says, yo, listen, nigga. This T.I. party, nigga. You up in here with the hood on, making everybody uncomfortable. You look fucking crazy, fob. You look how you dress, nigga. That's why I said to myself, like, what's wrong with how I'm dressed? Now, don't forget, I got pussy that I feel like a real star. This nigga brought me all the way down to, like, zero. And says, like, hold on, you fucked, your, you fucked the bitch with your hairline like that? Yeah. Did you keep the hoodie on the whole time, or? I don't remember. I don't think so. But it was the energy. They ain't, she didn't care about that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This so, is, yeah, so, so, so this nigga say, this nigga say, take your hoodie off. I said, I wish I could tell you his name, but I say his name like, yo, I'm not taking the hoodie off. I got Do you know the nigga name? Yeah. Uh, I, do I know the nigga name? You might know him. It's Clay. No, not Clay. Shout oh. out to Clay. Yo, fuck that. Yo, Hollywood, okay? Hollywood is this guy's name. Shout out to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I say to Hollywood, I'm not taking my hoodie off, nigga. I don't got no fucking haircut. It's mad bitches in here. If I take this hoodie off, everything's over. They're all gonna see my hairline, and it's fucking over, though. Then they're gonna really know I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to, they're gonna know I ain't got no haircut, it's over. This nigga said, take it off. To fucking take this shit off. Or, 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 or like, you gotta go now, like, you gotta get out of here. So I, so I. Don't, not, don't leave the Heineken. Yo, bro. when I go like this, yo. Don't leave the Heineken. When I take this, yo, when I grab the hood, the whole party was like, Going on. Like listen, like the whole room was like when he had the range <laughs> of the Yo, the all the bad bitches was like, he's grabbing what's he's about to show his hair. Cause they're really like, what's under there? I went like this, nigga, poof. And the whole part said, whoa. Like 20 niggas at one time, like the whoa. music style. Whoa. Right then there, I felt like the bummest nigga in the world. Fuck the pussy, fuck rapping. I've been there. I looked at Hollywood, I was like, yo, fuck out of here, man. He said, yo, just chill out, nigga. That's it. And walks off. When he walks off, now I'm there like, get my hood, yo. Look at everybody laughing. You feel naked. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. So now this happens, and now Tip finds out. You know what I mean? T.I. finds out. Yeah, that's just Hollywood's homeboy from Brooklyn. He'll be rapping. He fired, but he's just a little bugged out dressing and all that. You know what I'm saying? But he's a good, cool guy. So T.I. feels, to me personally, no more. He's I think at that time he felt, I say this, you know, he can speak on himself, but um, I felt that he felt maybe they was getting ready to go overboard. On a good person, you know what I'm saying? So, right. oh, I thought you was gonna say he finna, he came over there with a pair of clippers and cut your hair. No, go ahead. <laughs> so he says to me, um, so he goes around the room and now he's on the phone, and I am talking to the person. And he calling a barber. <laughs> no, go ahead. He walks up to me. He says, "Yeah, these things too." No, he said, "What's up?" So he's like, "This literally, he comes down. They just told me to fall the fuck back." So when he comes in there, he say, "What's up?" And shit, um, I'm like confused. But I'm also saying to myself, I'm like, why is T.I. coming back over here? I thought it was over. My hood's off, man. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? So I'm like, why is he coming back? Why is he coming back? Next day I know he's like, what's up, bro? And I'm like, what's up? I'm like, things hey, what's up? And then, that, then I said, I can't say what's up right now. I look mad stupid. And I know you don't want me in your party, nigga. Everybody know y'all about to shoot me up in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew you was gonna get so shot. So now, T.I. says what's up and stands next to me and he's kind of looking out the window too. Now, like, he's right. So <laughs> I had enough time to say, Yo, Tip, I'm five mics, my nigga. Let me just spit a verse for you or something. You know what I mean? Something, bro. New York shit. I don't say nothing. I literally just look out the window. In my head, like, five, why are you not talking? Like, no. This, can't do it. This is a nice view, you, huh? you fucked up, five. Your career's over now. You know when T.I. leaves, it's really over. Tip looked at me and said, huh? And walks off. So now I'm like, it's over for real. He's gone. So now I thought like now T.I. not only don't fuck with me, now he know I'm a scared rapping nigga. Like you had a few minutes, you didn't say nothing yeah, to me. You yeah. said you came in here to you know what I'm saying? You didn't say nothing to me. So boom, hey, hold on, for in his defense, I used to be this way around T.I. all the time Facts. when I first got there. Facts. It makes it he, he, he got yo, an aura. He got an aura. When man. you see me in the streets, nigga, you, you don't, don't know me. me. If you holler when you see me, nigga, you don't know me. You, don't hey. be a group and keep it moving. <laughs> I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> you can't, yo, I never could if say If you approach that nigga at that time 
It was like, you better know that he better be cool with it and you know what the fuck you talking about. Because oh. he going to say, hey, you don't know me. Like, my nigga, stop. Come on, man. The groupie shit. So it was, it was a big thing at the yeah. time. I felt that the song had just came out. I felt that like I was that nigga. He was, <laughs> but now, and now I know who talking to you. <laughs> so you took the pressure off of me. So make a long story short, <laughs> that's how I met T.I. Um, Everything went good. I went to uh, he, you know I went to the bathroom, smoked some weed and some shit, and I lit up a cigarette. And Ti walked past the bathroom and said, "No, yeah, he said Is somebody smoking crack up here." So I said, "Damn, niggas smoking." Cigarettes do smell like so crack I said, Damn, inside a party. So niggas smoking crack up here, and you know, kind of find out. He's like, "Nah, I'm talking about that cigarette, nigga." So I was like, "Oh shit!" And I put the cigarette out, and um, that's how I met him, and that's how my Vegas trip went. But now how I, how everything how I became five mics today, hustle gang, and all this shit. Is because a week, uh, about two weeks later, it was somebody's birthday and T.I. was performing in Atlanta. Um, I was there, I met Mac Boney earlier that day and I freestyled for Mac Boney. I told Mac Boney the same story and um, he said, yo, I'm gonna bring you to the studio. You know what I'm saying? But um, before the studio, we went to the body tap and I'm in the body you tap. You gotta go to the body tap. It's called V Live now, right? Yeah, shout out to V Live. Yeah. Um, shout out to the body tap. If you was in Atlanta, old Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. Nigga, from you know the window saying? to the walls to the sweat running down my balls was shot there at the body tap. Facts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I was there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, um, body tap, and um, damn, that fucked me up. The, the body tap. Right? Mac Boney, body tap. Oh, before. body tap. So, T.I.'s performing. He gets on stage while he's performing, rapping, doing the song, and walks over to me and gives me a five. I'm sitting in the crowd, really like, T.I.'s coming over here again? Like, is T.I.? And he's like, yo, no, 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 what's up? And he gave me a pound. When I looked away, the whole club was looking at me like, you got the juice, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got the juice now. So now I'm looking like, what the fuck? So I told Mac Bowie, now you gotta take me to the studio. Tip just came up to me and gave me a five. I don't care. Like, you know what that means, You gotta right? bring me to the studio. The nigga wants to sign me. <laughs> That's how you always today, translate. Today. <laughs> Some shit that meant absolutely nothing. That nigga wants to sign me. If it was a bitch that came by and hugged you at the club, yeah, she wants to fuck. <laughs> so it's time. So we go to the studio. Um, I walk, I ain't, yo, man, the story's okay. I ain't going to say exactly how I went, but it was legendary. I went up in there, and um, it's been 15 years I level up. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had a long journey with the industry, um, with the streets, all that back and forth with the courts things and all that and um it took a couple years for um it took a couple years for me to get things right um tip had his issues as well early on so um a lot of people just for that's why so many people like yourself or the artists know me because i've really just been around for a long ass time mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. and I, I, i've been doing my own thing as well that's why me and tip is like my brother you always did your own thing. i do my own thing now with, with that being said like because you you saying a lot of good shit right here and i say it at the same when it's your time, it's your time um, uh, uh, doing, doing your own thing, making your own lane, uh, not waiting on anybody to do anything for Facts. you. Facts. I think that's pretty much like a, a, the moral of a lot of that story. Would you say yeah. that? Is that yeah, what um, I doing? agree. And um, that, that whole experience that weekend um, gave me faith, um, insight, and also like enough to believe, like, nah, I can, I can make it, yo. If I, all that shit could happen in fucking one day, I could make it. And, I, and, um, and Tip, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to him because, uh, you know what I'm saying? The way he, the way he, uh, you know, the way he's been like, you know, my coach, I guess, you know what I'm saying? And, and this, uh, just as a big bro, he kind of left it real hardcore. Like, I don't, niggas be like, I no, nigga. I don't get, I don't borrow money from Tip. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't be the biggest misconception. I don't I never borrow money from Tipsy. No, you Ever. know what I'm saying? No. Oh, he, we he made never. a bet. We made a bet. We make bets. Uh -huh. and, but, uh, and, and you gotta pay that nigga too. And you have to honor your bets. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No matter who you are. You know no matter who you are. Or what the bet how, how much it was. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And he honors his, I honor mine. You know, but but at the end of what I'm trying to say is he he helped structure me in a way where allow my hustle to grow. And really let me blossom to the point where now, yeah, my hustle's so big. We, yeah, we, you said blossom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying we know it's speaking shit, though. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, <laughs> for real, just as a, as a person, he helped me grow. That's the word. That's a good word right there. Yeah, I like it. You know what I'm saying? He, like he helped me grow, but gave me the freedom to do me. So now, I, now as an adult, you understand what I'm saying? When we run together, it's like five brings something to the table, too. And that's what it is. He told me how to hustle. That's his bottom line. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Like, for real. He told me how to hustle for real. And, you know, this is where we at. And also, shout out to Lil Duval. Because, um, me and Duval always been tight. Um, Duval's been my friend just as long as I know Tip. And um, Lil Duval really, uh, 
jumps out the window with me all the time. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, enough about me bragging and shit. I just want to tell y'all, make sure you grind. That, this, yo, this, let me tell you something. I just got pulled over on the way here. I'm grinding for real. Um, I don't give a fuck if I was a millionaire, billionaire, or zero. I'm always going to hustle and grind, and I think that everybody just needs to worry about getting on your grind and do, put your work out. Yo, don't stop or give up. Just keep fucking working, and if you're working hard enough, everybody will see it, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I want to shout out all the OGs that posted my shit on Instagram because um, not none of the young homies that I know, not none of the young artists that I work with, not, none of that. All the OGs posted my shit and I felt like because they recognize the grind and they understand like this is the old school grind. This ain't the old five put a video out and blew up. This nigga been rapping 15 years. This nigga been running around 15, 16 years. Any fire, fuck it, I'm posting it. So that take real shit. I don't know if it took the like that's like some old school real nigga. You know what I mean? So no, I, I guess I you know, know exactly saying? what you're talking about. So I, so that's next level for me. And I, but I appreciate y'all doing that. That's just it. And I'm um, giving me a lane. You know what I mean? And um, again, shout out to Kalkana, shout out to Nas. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, pocket. That's what it is, man. Uh, um, ain't no chill. My album's out right now. Ain't no chill. Ain't no chills on my um, website fivebikes.com. That's, like that. that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Empire. Cause I do got albums and music released through Empire old ones. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Come on. And Jack, and shout out to Jack Thriller for being official. Let me come up here and, you know what I mean? Tell my story. Hey, man, you, you, you know me from the, from, from the mud. From the mud. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only right. I watch you come up too, nigga. Come on, man. What? Come on. And, and, and it's I, real. You can bring me up here, you know what I mean? That's it, what it is. No problem, man. And you, you got to come back and do party and bullshit. Facts. Word, word. So like I always say, you just can't say you're real. It's something you got to be, man. Five mics, we open, we out of here. Up in G-Unit, whatnot. Five? Yeah, man. Do I have something to mind? Y'all go to commercial. <laughs> Don't kiss the hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Switch broke! <laughs>